Jamie here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you the two latest releases from the luxury brand SD DuPont, and that would be the Sunburst and the Starburst. Uh, these are not limited edition models, but both of the pens you will see today are US exclusive editions. Uh, SD DuPont fountain pens are manufactured in their factory in Faverge, France, which is near the French Alps. Uh, it looks like a very beautiful part of the country. Uh, the company have been garnering a bit more attention here in the U.S. lately, especially ever since Coles of London took over U.S. distribution of the brand. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Sunburst and the Starburst, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about them. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Coles of London for providing the two pens you will see today on loan for review. The pen arrives in this box. Um, it's not particularly ornate. Uh, what's more importantly is what's inside the box. We have a use and care guide as well as some warranty information as well as we have two pens. Now, these do not come in as a set. Uh, these are sold separately. Um, this is the Sunburst and then here we have the Starburst. Both of these pens are variations on the SD DuPont Line D model, with the difference between these two being the trim and color scheme. We have the Starburst, which has silver colored trim, and the section and nib are uh, silver in color as well. Uh, and then we have the Sunburst, where the trim is gold in color and the section and nib are gold to match. Um, let's take a look at this unique finish. Here on the Starburst, it has a natural blue lacquer with a silver pearlescent spray. Uh, and then on the Sunburst, there is a black lacquer with a gold pearlescent spray. I feel the distribution of the spray is done really well on both of these pens. Uh, with a spray like this, every pen in the series is going to be unique. I mean, they'll look identical while at a hand's length, but the actual lacquer distribution is going to vary from pen to pen. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the parts of the pen. Uh, the top of the cap is adorned with the SD DuPont D logo. This transitions into the articulating clip. Um, I feel it's size appropriate for this pen. Uh, on it, there is a black lacquer filled shield, which is part of the heraldry of the brand. Um, the cap is rather bulbous. It kind of reminds me a bit of the cap on the Mont Blanc Starwalker. Okay, side note, speaking of the Starwalker, um, I'm often asked if there's any pens I regret buying. Uh, well, the Starwalker is a pen I regret not buying. Um, I was down at the Atlanta Pen Show a couple of years ago and there was a retailer who was going out of business and liquidating their stock. Uh, they had a Mont Blanc Starwalker in Ultra Black, which is a model that I would love to own. Uh, they were selling for $300. Uh, keep in mind that this model you can purchase now for about $600. Um, I had literally just arrived at the show and wanted to walk around a bit just to check things out prior to buying anything. And when I returned, not that very long later, the pen had already been sold. Old. So the lesson is, if you're at a show and you come across something fantastic at a great price, jump on it because it might not be available for long. Okay, enough about regrets. Let's get back to the pen at hand. The transition from the cap to the barrel is tapered and smooth. Uh, you could really see how saturated the spray is near the middle of this pen, but you could also tell that the color is not solid. It still has a textured look to it. Um, the exterior coating of this pen is smooth, so you don't feel that texture. The barrel begins with a band. On the band, it says SD DuPont and then Paris. There is a leaf symbol which signifies the use of Chinese lacquer on this pen. The barrel tapers down at an even angle, and then on the end, there is this metal piece with a ring used as part of the posting mechanism. The cap snaps off. Now, the SD DuPont Luxury Lighters famously make an audible ding when you open the cap. Uh, the marketing for these pens say that the sound the cap mechanism makes is supposed to mimic that very distinctive ring. Um, I can't say I agree with that much. Uh, it is a very smooth mechanism and it's not overly loud, but I wouldn't describe the noise as a ding or a, any sound different than I've heard while operating the snap cap for any other pen. Uh, here's what this one sounds like. And then this is what the lighter ding sounds like. So you can see they're not really the same. 
Once you have removed the cap, underneath we have a very nice 14 karat gold nib. As I mentioned previously, on the Starburst, the nib is silver, and then on the Sunburst, the nib is gold. Um, I love the stamping on the SD DuPont nibs. I think it looks very classy. Um, while I feel it's size appropriate for the overall design of this pen, uh, the nib is a bit smaller than you might expect. It's basically a number five. Uh, the nib is available in fine or medium. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Uh, I love the looks of this section. It begins with a rather pronounced flare and is encircled with grooves. It angles up fairly steeply into the step up to the rest of the barrel. I, I really like the grooves here. They take a metal section which is fairly steep and had the potential to be very slick and turns it into something I feel is very comfortable to use. Um, plus I just like the looks of the design. The cap does snap to post. The mechanism works very well. The cap is held very securely. It's not going anywhere. However, I do find that posting throws off the balance of this pen and makes it a bit unwieldy. So I prefer to use this pen unposted and it's plenty long enough for me to do so comfortably. Um, I do like the overall weight of this pen. Uh, I believe the base is brass. Um, it has enough heft to give it a quality feel, but not so much that writing with it becomes burdensome. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges uh, a, and a converter is provided, even though it isn't loaded right now. With the abundance of metal in this pen, eye dropping would not be recommended. The SD DuPont Sunburst and Starburst are available through a large number of retailers and sell for $895. At authorized dealers, you will find this pen for 20% less, bringing the cost down to $716, which still makes it a rather expensive offering. But the pricing is in line with the rest of the SD DuPont offerings. They are a luxury brand, and their pens indeed have a luxury price. Um, these models feel like quality writing instruments, and as you'll see in the writing sample, I find that the nibs on SD DuPont pens are outstanding. Um, I don't currently own an SD DuPont pen, but I can envision one making its way into my collection eventually. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the SD DuPont Sunburst and Starburst. Um, you know, I wanted to give you another closer look at that. Like I mentioned before, I really like how the spray is rather saturated near the middle of these pens, but yet you can still see the texture of every single drop. It's not just like turned into a solid color. I just think it's a really nice feature of both of these pens. In regard to some size comparisons, uh, this is what it looks like with a Visconti Homo Sapiens. And then here it is with a Mont Blanc 149. And here it is with a Sailor King of Pen in Ebonite. And in regard to three other pens, here it is with a Platinum Azumo. Then a Omas Ojiva Cocktail, that's the Blue Angel model. And then finally here it is with a Pelican M1000. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, these pens are exactly the same size. Um, here it is with the Mont Blanc 149, and here it is with the Pelican M1000, and then here it is with the Homo Sapiens. Here we go with the writing sample for the ST DuPont. And this is the Sunburst, or actually this one is the Starburst. We'll say Starburst slash Sunburst. Uh, and this particular model, this uh, one that I have here is a medium 14 karat gold nib. And the ink that I'm using is Visconti Green. This is what the ink looks like. Uh, it's a nice saturated green. 
Uh, here it is in comparison to Mont Blanc's Irish Green, which is lighter, uh, as well as Private Reserve Sherwood Green. I think the Visconti Green is a little more blue-green than the other ones. And this is what Visconti's ink bottle looks like. I always thought this was a really cool design and very utilitarian as well. You can really get the ink all the way at the bottom of this bottle. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Uh, one of the highlights of any SD DuPont pen that I have tested so far is the nib. Uh, the nibs are outstanding. Um, you get a little bit of line variation in this 14 karat gold nib. Uh, the ink flow is generous uh, in regard to reverse writing. It's fairly smooth. In regard to some fast writing, the feed keeps up just fine. The nibs on these pens are just outstanding. So there we have the SD DuPont Starburst and Sunburst pens. I think these are your interesting additions to the SD DuPont lineup. And like I mentioned, one of these days I need to add an SD DuPont to my collection. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.